John O came to me last week. Um, we've had some discussions over the last month or so about sort of where he's at with his footy and uh, and his life and where he needs to go. Um, he's decided to retire, um, which is obviously mid season is not something that uh, you'd normally see, but. What that does is it gives me the opportunity to talk to, to this group of people about what Jono has been to this footy club for the last 14 years. Feeds the ball off, the pies just fiddling around, Severio Rocker brings the ball back. Snap by Johnson, he's got three for the turn. Well, Ben Johnson is just uh, one of those guys who, when he walked into Victoria Park, and it was Victoria Park for the first time, I was introduced to him. I knew he was from Preston and I knew he'd barrack for the Pies. I knew his father, John O. Johnson, used to be the corner man for Barry Michael in the boxing. And he was just an old fashioned Preston Collingwood supporter. And I looked at him and, uh, you know, he just looked like so many great Collingwood people from the past. Me, me and Dad used to go to the games at Vic Park. I grew up a Collingwood supporter and I loved them. And um, I was pretty passionate, probably as passionate as um, like Eddie and a lot of our supporters. So to get drafted by the club I bagged for and even to win a premiership with them is just a dream come true. And you know, this place has given me a great start to my life and I'll never forget it. Thanks to the crowd, another big one. And uh, well done, boys. Oh, look, Jono's been uh, a fantastic servant. He's, he's done it in his own way. Just a great, uh, very passionate, Collingwood person um, would bleed black and white. Uh, you know, it was a it was a great teammate to play alongside of. Um, you know, just a, a very underrated footballer as well. I'll speak on, on behalf of the boys. <laughs> Firstly, Brandon, it's nice to see you on a Monday. <laughs> 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 it's not nice a time to see you on a Monday, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, he's pretty much exactly what Bucks have made. Um, I think everyone here knows how, how passionate you are um, about the footy club. Um, you certainly have different methods to some people about how you go about it, but you know you certainly got the best out of yourself. Um, you know your, your ankle or you know, your calf's let you down, even though you probably you still have the body of an elite athlete. Um, <laughs> you know you say you're not, you not going to blow out after after footy. It's because you're blown out now. <laughs> When it comes to the Rat Pack, um, there definitely is a Rat Pack. It's been around for ever since I started, pretty much. And you know, we speak to Bucks about it, and we just have a laugh because it is pretty ridiculous. And even like they'll call it the Rat Pack. So I we went to Bucks and said, "Mate, can you tell them it's a Rat Pack?" So that's how that's how much we joke about it. Did you go out to that thing or not? <laughs> you didn't go out. <laughs> get ahead of here. You get that video? He hated ice bars. There's no doubt that he avoided hydrotherapy sessions as much as he could. There was one time when um, Butters took us down to the um, down to the pier at St Kilda, and we had to jump off the pier and swim swim back to the beach. And the jellyfish were were all over the place. So we were basically jumping into a, a bath full of jellyfish. And um, Jono was there, he doesn't wear bathers, he just wears undies. So Jono was at the end of the pier with his undies on, and as he jumped in on top of the jellyfish, he turned around and said, Butters, I'm telling my mum on you. <laughs> you look younger now after doing that. <laughs> so we finished fourth, they were the all conquering. Port Adelaide side at this stage and we were going over as mugs. We were fighting so hard and the ball got kicked up and you could just see Jono was trying his best but Burgoyne got the drop on him and took the mark and you could see Jono's head dropped a bit and we all thought oh god you know they're, they're coming at us and then when Burgoyne played on and Jono somehow grabbed him by the back of his jumper and dragged him off the ball and Shane Wakeland ran and picked it up and you can hear the commentary from Stephen Quartermain. No one could believe what had happened. And suddenly we were away again. For goal number four, he plays on. He's got it. No, he's been run down. Unbelievable. Collie went out of jail. I knew if he had to kick that goal, we probably would have lost. And then I probably would have struggled for the rest of my career. I don't know if I would have got over that, but I don't know how I held on. It was just God looking down at me that day. Whatever you do in, in your future life, I'm sure you're going to be successful at it and 
Uh, man, I wish you all the best, and uh, no doubt we'll see you in here for all the free lunches that um, you're going to still come in and do. And you know, we'll see you around the club, mate, because I'm sure everyone here will, will you know, solely miss you, and people still want you around. So. Uh, you know, you've had a great career, and I'm no doubt. Hopefully, you get into uh, you know into the Hall of Fame, the Footy Club. You certainly deserve it. So, um, yeah, well done, mate. My biggest supporters are mum and dad. Um, they hardly ever miss the game, and they're always there through the ups and the downs. And I definitely wouldn't have had the career I've had without them. No doubt, they'll be backbone. It's been a great journey. I've had such a good time, made so many friends and learned a lot and um, you know, I'll take that on in the future. And um, I guess we'll celebrate when we get the premiership this year. So thanks very much.